There are three basic shots, the wide shot, the close up, and the medium shot. Most programs feature a variety of these to keep the show visually interesting. The wide shot is often used as an establishing shot because it establishes for the viewer where the scene is taking place. The close up shows details. Any individual person or object you want the viewer to see should be recorded in close up at least once. The medium shot is anything in between. You will often see multiple subjects grouped together in a medium shot. It's important to be mindful of the way you arrange each shot because good shots get people's attention. They are essential to a show that flows naturally and gets its message across. The rule of thirds is a quick guideline for composing objects and people within the frame. Here's how it works. If you imagine your frame divided into thirds both vertically and horizontally, those lines can be used to compose your shot. You can place any critical elements of the shot along these lines or on the intersection points themselves. This is called composing on the thirds. This shot of a beach sunset is okay. The sun, sky, and water are all present, but the composition is lacking. By tilting the camera up, we arrange the horizon line along the lower third. By panning right, we arrange the sun along the left third. The shot looks much better, balanced, and interesting. This guideline can definitely be applied when working with people. This shot is poorly composed. The subject's head is bullseyed right in the middle of the frame, which makes it seem like there's too much space above the head. The shot can be corrected by tilting the camera down to place the subject's eyes along the upper third. In this shot, the subject is looking off camera. It doesn't look quite right. The eyes are in the right place, but there seems to be too much room behind him. He needs what we call looking room. Pan the camera to the right, placing the subject's head along the left third. Shoot appropriate lengths for each shot. Record at least 5 to 10 seconds of anything, even still life. If you have nothing to record, stop the camera. It's often better to stop tape before selecting a new shot rather than letting the camera wander around aimlessly. Use handles when shooting. Using handles means recording extra seconds before and after the action of your subject. This is especially important in interviews with people. Always start rolling well before the person begins to speak and let the tape roll for a while after they've finished. This could save you from cutting off any usable parts of the interview.